All right, ladies and gentlemen, this particular GPT that I'm doing right now is for those of you who have family and friends who are in jail because of unpaid parking tickets or traffic violations where they have to pay a fine and they're put in jail because they can't pay the fine. It's illegal to do that, and most of you guys don't know that. So there was a gentleman in Puerto Rico. I told you guys about this gentleman. I met him directly. I happened to have been there while he had been arrested, seeing the news footage of him getting 400 men released from prison for filing a bankruptcy petition. This is a sample of the release form to get individuals released after you filed the bankruptcy chapter 13 petition. Okay, now I put one here and ChatGPT said, oh no, hold on, homie. And it redid this one right here. I gave it one and it redid it and told him, nah, you gotta do it this way, homie. And that was ChatGPT. Okay, release from chapter 13 bankruptcy filers. So release form for chapter 13 bankruptcy filers. Notice of automatic stay and release pursuant to the filing to filing under chapter 13 of bankruptcy. He did something similar. He did a release form. And this is the case citation. So what we're going to do is we're going to do another release form and I'm going to put the link in the chat and it will not be one of those links that will disappear because it'll be coming from my tiny URL and not some foreign tiny URL that they can play games with. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you're going to have to read over all of this uh, give me a second. This was the case. Sorry, we're going to go all the way to the top because we started from the bottom. <laughs> Look at that. We made it to the top. United States versus Valdez Ayala. Now, please understand. He's an... I can't talk about him negatively because I haven't seen this person since 2013. So, in the last 11 years, he could have changed. He was resentenced. And because the judge didn't follow the sentencing guidelines, he was released. He didn't technically win his appeal, but he won his appeal. He, they vacated the sentence, they resentenced him, so he was still convicted. But please understand, this explains all the happenings, okay? Because Valdez challenges sufficiency of the evidence to support some of his conviction, and he had the right to do that, we will rely on the facts of the case in light of the com most compatible with the jury's verdict. Yes, he went to trial. I even suggested to take his behind the trial. Told him, don't you dare sit up there and sign no plea. Okay, assume, assume. This is the Department for Child Support. 400 men who owed a debt. Didn't matter if it was child support or traffic tickets or anything. If you were in any prison or know somebody who's in prison because they couldn't pay a debt, then chapter 13 is your way. You're going to get the entire GPT. Pay attention to it. Follow it. Follow it. Follow it. What have you got to lose? The person owes a debt. So file bankruptcy and he ain't owing no more debt. She ain't owing no more debt. <sighs> Demonstrates. The stopping of enforcement actions related to child support after bankruptcy filing. Then, after California, another California case which reinforces bankruptcy's power to halt actions for unpaid financial obligations, debt collections, and traffic tickets, and all of that. Now, here's the federal ones up here. Establish that incarceration linked to civil debt obligations must cease under the automatic stay provisions. So if you have a civil debt, even if they're trying to, that's, what, that's why they have to halt your foreclosure, because it's a sit, civil debt issue. The same thing with incarceration. I remember, some of you are going to have to get creative, because everybody who's in jail is in jail because they owe a debt to society, and all debts are civil. There is no such thing as a criminal debt. Go ahead. There's no such thing as a criminal fine. Go ahead. That's A criminal fine is a commercial activity. It's all civil. 
All commercial activities are civil. There's no such thing as a criminal fine. That's just the title they give it. That's not the actual law governing it. All right. Look, I got to go. It's late. And to you guys, it's not late. But to me, it's very late. Uh, it's been a long day. But I did need to give you guys the release form. So now we're going to do the release form. Might as well do it now. Wake up. Wake up. In light of the foregoing information and the facts provided you within the context of which I've requested, comma, I will need you to redo the release form. Comma, do not deviate from the context intended. Exclamation mark. Stop listening. Stop listening. Ladies and gentlemen, the problem here is he, because he's biased towards government, he has a government bias, and government doesn't tell you the truth about this stuff, They because they're supposed to notify you that you have these rights. He is rewriting the petition. You're going to have to go over the petition, go over the rules. Now, he said obligations such as unpaid child support. Uh-uh. We're not going to have him do child support. Wake up and do not limit it to child support, but limit it to any civil debt obligation. Recognizing that the fact that everyone who is incarcerated is incarcerated because they owe a debt to society, comma, they have a right to have that debt discharged and or renegotiated through bankruptcy chapter 13. And the automatic stay is applicable in each instance, period. There is no such thing as a criminal debt, comma, all debts of a monetary value and symbolic monetary value, including restitutions, are civil matters because it is commerce and commerce is always civil, exclamation mark. You're to also add three case citations supporting this conclusion. Stop listening. Now, ladies and gentlemen, all you guys got to do is go over this, understand it, understand it, go over it, understand it, go over it, understand it. And I do mean go over it and over it and over it and understand it. Now, including child support restitution or symbolic monetary penalties, recognizing that such debts are commercial in nature. So we do that right there because he wants to make it look like you stupid, like you one of them activist type people, because that's what he does. So we make him do it again. And right here, and then as he's doing that, we make him do it again. That's, that's how you spank him. Just make him keep doing it until he gets it right. Do it till you get it, get it right. Okay. Come on and do it. <laughs> do it. Do it till you get it right. Whatever it is, including ChatGPT, not doing something right. Make him get it and do it till he gets it right. All right. They are subject to discharge or reorganization through Chapter 13 bankruptcy protection and any blah, 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 blah. And he, the Supreme Court, affirmed the supremacy of the federal bankruptcy laws over conflicting state laws. This decision underpins the enforcement, blah, blah, blah. Uh-uh. Mm -mm. Nope, nope, nope. Wake up. Wake up. That's too simplistic. I need more details. Comma, you will provide me at least 12 paragraphs. Comma, seven sentences long. And there had better be more than 25 case citations embedded within this petition within the context of which I've explained to you I want it done exclamation mark and you make a mistake I'll make you do it over again until I get tired and I don't feel tired exclamation mark stop listening all right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to finish this. I will get the link. I will put it in the video. You guys will have it shortly. 
I got to go. I'm cooking and I don't need to be burning nothing. I left that stove unattended because I wanted to get this stuff out to you guys, but it's on low. Okay. Nature of debt as civil obligation and gives the cases. That's what I want. I want details. Now, I know it's not nine sentences, but we need the 12 paragraphs. Okay. We need something that explains everything. This is our paralegal. Now, watch this. He did that, but paragraphs too short. I want them just a little bit longer. And we're off. So have a good day, everybody. Don't say I ain't never did nothing for y'all. Traffic tickets, all of them civil tickets, anything that's happening in a municipal court, all non-core, I mean, excuse me, all core matters are civil matters. Shh, don't tell nobody. All core matters are civil matters. Let's, let's take care of that right now. Let's take care of that right now. Wake up. Wake up. Highlight the fact that all core matters dealing with public policy, comma, public laws, comma, the public are civil. And therefore are subject to bankruptcy protection. Comma, you are also to provide five case citations supporting this conclusion and a section speaking of this specifically. Exclamation mark. And when I say seven paragraphs, nine sentences long, you had better give me what I asked for. When I say that 25 case citations must be embedded within these paragraphs, you had better give me what I'm asking for, exclamation mark. And you had better give the additional five case citations within the context of which I am asking, exclamation mark. Stop listening. All right, got to go. That's the best I'm going to do for y'all. You see it's a lot more detailed. You can add and take away from it as you see fit. Notice how this is to the correctional facility. Ta-da. And you put the bankruptcy information at the top. You send it to the, this is the release form, ladies and gentlemen. This is where you are ordering them by law to release the so-called debtor. And literally, ta-da. Civil debts and public policy. Public policy dictates that all financial obligation, whether arising from civil judgment, fines, or other penalties, are commercial in nature. Therefore, they fall under the jurisdiction of the bankruptcy protection. See the ruling in this case, affirming that state courts cannot circumvent the automatic stay to continue civil penalties or enforcement activities, including incarceration. This ruling highlights that the constitutional principle that commerce including civil penalties, is a matter of federal law and falls within the protection of bankruptcy. All crimes are civil. Okay? Really that simple. Now, he didn't give me everything, but he's going to give me my case citations, and that's what we're looking for. This is the extra five case citations supporting the civil nature of public policy debts. Any debt associated with public policy is a core matter. Ta-da! There you go. All right, look. I got to go. I promise y'all, y'all will get it. You, y'all going to get it. And I'm out of here. Take care. Share it. Share it. Share it. I don't usually tell y'all to share information, but this time I'm saying it. Got to go.